everybody it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio um, this week I have not had any time to come down into my studio and do any quilting it's just been really busy at work I've had two long days two 12-hour days so far and it's Wednesday and I just got home around 7:30. so it's been I've been home maybe half an hour um, tomorrow's another long day another 12 hour day so uh, I'm not going to get down here quilting until probably Friday or Saturday depending on how I feel I'm pretty exhausted right now so uh, I just thought to this week that I would just kind of show you where I am on a couple of projects and uh, just kind of go from there okay first off I wanted to show you the um, flying geese quilt I do have the binding done on this one and um, I originally was going to put use this green border fabric as my binding but I didn't have enough of that left so I found another um, cream colored fabric um, that is left over from an, a sewing project I actually made um, a bed skirt out of this fabric it's actually leaves is what it is just a bunch of leaves um, I don't know if you can tell that there's there's part of a leaf right there and but it's real similar to the color of the background pieces so I thought that would go good with this quilt and so that is all ready to be used I just need to put the um, uh, label on it and then get it documented I don't have that done yet either but um, that is all ready to be used now and um, I'm not sure what I'll do with this one I may take this into my office I have a um, vinyl covered desk chair and the chair is comfortable because uh, of the cushion but it gets hot and at the moment I have another uh, quilt on it and I may just trade this out just for something different so that may be something that I'm just going to use for that chair I haven't decided yet but that is done um, another thing I wanted to show you is the um, super simple squares quilt and I'll show you where I am with that okay here is the super simple squares quilt so you can see I've not gotten very far on this at all I do have it loaded and I have the first basting done which is just on the outer edges and the top and there's no other quilting done on it I haven't done any stitching in the ditch or anything yet but um, it is ready to go and I've got some design work done on it that I showed in the last video and I actually been playing around with a few more design ideas and um, so this one may be quilted completely different than the designs I showed you but when I get around to quilting this I will show you oh actually I do have I have quilted in here I've stitched in the ditch on this side I don't have this border done though and I'm not sure why I did that but I guess it has been a hectic week and I worked on this Saturday I think it was and that was the last day I had any free time and I just did this um, I didn't have a whole lot of time once I got it loaded I didn't have time to do much other than that so it's ready to go now I'm using an 80 20 batting and this is Fairfield batting and um, this usually holds up pretty good um, so we'll see how this goes and I actually bought this at Walmart it was cheaper than Joann's with a 40% off coupon so I went ahead and bought that and um, what else do I have going on I have Dresden plates on the design wall there is my box with all of the blocks in it and I just set that on my ironing board but I'm playing with two different design ideas the one on the left over here is um, just your basic um, straight set just one block after the other it's very orderly and it gives you a lot of room between the blocks like right in here to do a really pretty um, quilting design um, I think this is going to be heirloom quilted so it's gonna when I do get this put together in on the machine it's going to be a long project and then over on this side here I've got the blocks um, offset by a half a block 
So you can see the ones on the outside that make the circle, the six on the outside, and then the one in the middle. And um, that design to me is a little more pleasing because it isn't as orderly. But quilting between these um, plates in the background is going to be a little bit more complicated than what I would do over here because this one is all nice and orderly and you know you could do the same design in between each section and here the sections aren't symmetrical they're asymmetrical so it would be a whole different ball game there and I'm not sure I'm just not I'm just not sure what I want to do yet uh, one of the things that I do want to avoid though is making this quilt too big and there are what did I say 27 blocks I can't remember exactly I'd have to count them again but there are a lot of of plates and making a lot of blocks and these blocks are 14 inches so um, that's big and I only have a queen size bed so I don't want to make it this into a king size quilt I made that um, Hawaiian quilt into a king size and it's just way too big for our bed and uh, it's just not comfortable to sleep under because it's wanting to drag itself to the floor because of the weight of the quilt and there's just not enough mattress there for it so that quilt um, I we slept on it for a week or, or slept with it for a week or two and then um, I had to take it off the bed and fold it up and put it away and I think I will give that to my oldest daughter she has a king size bed um, just because it's just not comfortable for us so and that's fine that's uh, fine with me but I don't want to make this one too big so I may make two different quilts out of this I'm going to play around with the designs and maybe I'll make one in a straight set and then one like this uh, they may be more full-size quilts instead of queens but you know kind of see what happens there I also need to think about borders and what kind of fabric I want to use for that if I want to get some reproduction fabric or solids kind of like what I did with um, the super simple squares quilt I just used solids on the outer borders on the borders both borders just because um, matching this fabric since it is uh, kind of out of print right now um, I wouldn't be able to find yardage very easily of this I don't think I may have been able to but I just wasn't in the mood to to do a whole lot of searching and they had these fabrics that just go so well with this colorway that um, I just decided to to go with these and um, just use some solids because it has plenty of prints in it and that way the solids aren't going to detract from the prints within the quilt. So I think that's probably what I'll do with this quilt here too. So that's um, my next project to put together. And then here's my cutting table at the moment. It is it is a mess. I've got the leftover fabric from the Super Simple Squares quilt that I gotta put away. And uh, this is the project box for the Hawaiian quilt. I have to also put that away in some scraps of fabric here. These are uh, scraps from backings that I need to put away. Um, I have some fabrics in here. These are actually to make some blouses with. So I've got, that's another project. And then in this bag here is um, some pillows in fabric that I'm, I'm making some pillows for a friend of mine. So I have to get that taken care of but what I wanted to show you mostly was what's in this box um, I have a couple of tablecloths these are probably from the 1950s um, and I bought these at a flea market several years ago and they have this um, aqua color in them that I liked a lot and I uh, actually made our bedroom decorated it in these colors painted the walls and all of that and what I want to do is I want to quilt these I've got this one here and then I have this one and this one has some yellow and gold in it 
and uh, this is like a mum, like a spider mum is what it reminds me of. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but it's got a very textured uh, linen fabric, so it's um, really, it's thick, it's a very thick fabric. Um, I'm going to do this one too, but I think I'm going to start with this one and I will do just back it with some cotton and um, I'm trying to open this for you so you can see it a little bit better. But it's got a lot of bright colors in it and it has this kind of a frame here and it makes um, kind of a medallion. The center is all solid and this is just um, a heavy cotton. It's not a linen, I don't believe. And it almost has, um, I thought maybe this had a twill weave, but it doesn't. It's just a, it's a regular weave, but it's just heavy cotton and it's just really pretty. So. My intention when I bought these 10 years ago was to quilt them and I just never got around to it. So I want to do that. So that's another two more projects on my list. And if you look at my project shelf, I still have plenty to do in here. So um, most of these are blocks. These are the goose track blocks in here. And then I have some other projects down this lower bin that I need to look at. I think actually that's mostly fabric in there. But I have some other projects in those bins there. And I have been trying to organize things a little bit. I went through my button collection that I inherited and I sorted them out by color. So I have those over here. And then I have more project bins behind that. So I've got these two shelves full of projects and then I have a couple down below. And right here, these are the um, homespun fabrics that a friend gave me that I need to um, put away, which is one of the reasons I've been trying to organize a few things so I can find room for everything. It um, seems to be a um, perpetual problem. Um, I make progress in get some projects completed and then I turn around and I just have the projects just seem to grow there's just more projects to do so anyway so anyway that's kind of where I am this week um, I think this weekend after doing this little bitty tour I think I'm basically going to be sorting through things and uh, kind of getting things back into order because things are kind of a mess right now and it's hard for me to work when I've got um, the mess on the cutting table and you know half finished projects laying around so I need to get some things to cleared up and taken care of um, and get that super simple squares quilt done and start working on this one here and so lots of projects coming up and um, I will show you what I'm doing as I'm going through all of this. So I hope you all had a good week. I My week's been good. It's just been really busy and just have not had time to quilt. And that happens sometimes. So uh, I hope you're able to find some time to quilt yourself this week. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my newest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.